In this video, I'm going to share with you how to slow down the ace slot meta offense in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. All right, guys, so ace slot. I think this is one of the most up-and-coming offenses this year. I think it's one of the better offenses. To be quite honest with you, I think the two best offenses in the game are Gun Bunch, and then the second best is Gun Ace Slot. So um, this is a defense that I've kind of crafted and designed specifically for ace slot out of our nickel 335 odd defensive guide. Now, if you've not gotten the nickel 335 odd defensive guide, I would highly encourage you to do so because it's gonna help you learn the pressure schemes. It's also gonna help you learn a lot of coverage concepts and ways in which we can basically get the whole field covered even though defense is significantly difficult, uh, more difficult this season than it's ever been. So that being said, if you want to get the defensive guide, there's a link in the description of this video where we break it down. But let's dive into the video. I'm really excited to bring this to you real quick. Please notice we are in the strong safety inside package, um, and we are going to actually be leveraging a couple different coverages. So I've got the cover six, I've got the cover three cloud, the Tampa two, and the cover four drop. So we're going to be coming out in LB cross three show two every time. Um, it's my favorite play to kind of base my base defense for sure. And then I like to adjust in different coverages as necessary. Okay. So we're coming out in LB cross show two real quick. Just a couple things to note about this formation. One of the things that makes this so good is its ability to pick up pressure. Um, you're going to see here that just because of, just based on uh, the tight end positions alone being on the field, it can pick up some of my favorite blitzes in the game. Um, it doesn't necessarily completely take it away, but it does make it more difficult to get these pressures. It puts more responsibility on my user. Um, it makes you have to really, I think, dissect how you're going to defend this. Now, I would tell you that this is not all that different than defending something like a trips tight end. If you face a lot of trips tight end, um, this could be something that uh, you know, you could be some semi prepared for that being said as far as a coverage defense that I like to use real quick I want you to first understand what is the best play the best play is posts as you'll see right here You've got a high low on both sides You can turn this into a high low on both sides and then you have this nice post route coming over the top But really it's just this high low. This is the thing I mean, this is like the number one thing you're gonna get and then you're also gonna get um, One of the other things that you're gonna get is this right here Which I think is really good is this streak corner uh, flat combo right here. This is a great read. Um, it's really difficult to defend that. Okay, so that being said, let's dive into the coverage scheme. And the way we're going to defend this is through using the cover six. Now, the cover six, in my opinion, is one of the better defenses in the game, especially when it comes to defending anything that's a three by one formation or anything that's um, e even two by two, but really against three by one, it's very, very good. Um, and what we're going to say, and we're going to kind of come to the understanding is they've got three strong to the left. There's no vertical threat on the outside on the right side of the field. So we're going to take advantage of that. And the way we're going to take advantage of that is we're going to actually show blitz to try to bring this guy off the edge. I wouldn't move him. I'd just leave him here. You can move. You can do this right here. And you can actually blitz him. And it will. It does actually typically come in clean. We'll show you a little B gap. It didn't come quite completely clean there. But you can do that. I just want you to know. So that's in your arsenal, uh, your bag of tricks. But anyways, all that to say, just bring these guys down. Get these guys in the box. It helps with the streaks. Um, it really does. Um, and then the next adjustment we're going to do is we're going to take Indomi can sue on this side here. You can do a couple different things, but my favorite thing to do is put him in a bluff blitz. The reason, couple reasons. The first reason why I like a bluff blitz is because now it allows me to take this guy and do whatever I want. I can put him in any zone that I want and the coverage will still be fine. The other reason why I like to do that is because if they run the ball, I won't get weak box. Even though technically I'm only blitzing three, the bluff blitz counts as a blitzer. Okay. So that being said, let's continue to go through this coverage. This guy, I like to have him here. I actually like to take this guy and bring him inside right in here because I'm not too, I'm honestly not too threatened by a tight end streak to the right. I'm really not. Um, so what I like to do is go ahead and take the outside corner and put him in an outside quarter zone. You'll notice that that's going to take away the tight end most of the time. And then I'm going to take the linebacker that's in the middle of the field and put him in a hard flat. 
And then the last adjustment is to take this square linebacker and I can do one of about 15 different things. It's up to you. I normally just put him in a mid read. Normally he's just gonna go in a mid read, but you can put him in a hard flat. You could put him in a deep middle third. You could man him up on anyone on that side. So if you wanna take away the post route, you could man him up on the outside guy. Uh, I find that does a really good job. The one thing I will say about a slot is that it's not necessarily super good with like a, a deep crosser. Okay, not yet anyway. So um, anyways, just do this right here. I find this to be very good. And then you're just going to use her in the middle. So take a look at post. Take a look at post, completely bagged. Every single thing is completely bagged. You get instant pressure thanks to good old 335 odd. And um, as you can see, we've taken away the number one play in the game. Watch how this works. I mean, you take everything away. Look at this, bagged. That's bagged, that's bagged. This corner route is kind of open, but I will tell you if that's, a, if that's Ed Reed, or Revis, that could be bagged. Um, you know, I don't find that corner route to be that threatening, to be honest. Now look back here, this corner route, bagged. No way to throw that. Somehow the three rep goes over there. I don't know why the three rep goes over to him, but he's taken away. And then your job is this. This angle route is you. This angle route is you. Now, like I said, from this formation, I don't find there to be a major issue yet with crossers. So let's go PA post shot. So here's a deep crossing route to the right or to, from left to right, okay? Um, I'm not gonna do too much on the adjustments. I'm just gonna streak that guy and just create kind of a high-low. That's all I'm gonna do, okay? I just wanna, sh cause I just want you to see what the route, what the, where the routes are gonna threaten you at. I think where is more important than what. Where are the routes going on the field is more important than what the routes actually are, okay? So that being said, here's your coverage again. And again, it's really simple. All we're doing is we're going to bluff blitz the defensive end on the left. We're going to take the middle linebacker, put him into the hard flat or a curl flat. That's up to you. Take the circle, the circle guy, put him in an outside quarter. And then your primary job with that middle guy is whatever you want. If you want him in a middle read, you can have him in a middle read. If you want him in a hook curl, you can have him in a hook curl. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do with him. He is your he is your um, your special player, your wing defender, the player that you can do whatever you want with. Okay, so let's show you how this play looks. PA post shot. Take a look here. Your job is the crosser. Your job is 100% the crosser. But to be honest, the crosser is taken away. To be honest, the crosser is not really that open. Let's jump into instant replay and break that down real quick. Take a look at this. This is double post, right? This is double post. It doesn't get that open. It really doesn't. Tight ends taken away. This is this is this is open, but it's 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 not super open. And then take a look at the crosser, completely taken away. Now let's say for example they try to isolate us. This is something that a lot of people, um, the more people learn about match, the more people start to understand what you're doing. Um, you might get some of these isolations. So let me just show that real quick. All we're going to do is we're going to run PA post shot again, except this time we're just going to put a delay fade out there. And then we're going to take the triangle guy and put him on an out route just to kind of help kind of break the match coverage. Also curl him. But I just want you to show the double post. Now, again, you're reading routes on the field. So you're already going to be coming back into this area. But take a look at that deep post route. The middle read goes back to it and the quarter zone defends it. And as you see, we're able to take that away, okay? So very good defense, in my opinion, for PA post shot. Now let's go over um, another one that's a traditional. We, we're not going to go over levels of YCL. Not too much to cover in that, at least yet. Uh, China double in, though. Now notice that they move. See that right there? They move. That's really important. Um, but what you'll see, I guarantee you, you'll see something to this effect right here. Um, okay? So you'll see. I guarantee you this is what you're going to see. So we're going to run that same adjustment that we've been running, and I just want to show you kind of how that fares uh, how that fares against this play here. So you see here, this is basically the defense. Now watch, this corner route should get wide open, but we'll see. And you see there, these corner routes this year, they're so long developing, they don't actually break it like they did last year. They're not sharp enough. So he does get open. But notice, notice that that guy does, I mean, he's there. He's just a step behind, okay? He's just a step behind. So on this backside though, bagged, your little table route taken away with that hard flat, he's there. So now this is the only thing you've got to deal with. That's the only thing you've got to deal with, okay? Now, um, let's say for example, we did something maybe a little bit different um, because we, we're anticipating that 
the, the major thing that we're going to have to deal with is indeed a corner route to that side of the field. That seems to be the common theme that we need to deal with a corner route to that side of the field. So what we can do in our cover six is we can overplay that with our with our swing defender. So what we can easily do, and I probably, honestly, I probably like to man this guy up on the running back more than anything um, because you don't get a lot of like just quick drags out of this formation, but you get a lot of like table route to the back or, you know, something. So anyways, but what we can do now is that middle linebacker, remember, we could do whatever we want with him. So let me just put him into a curl flat, okay? Because corner routes have been a problem over and over again so that so now let's do that and let's just show you how that works he doesn't guard it of course but he does go over in that area so that's just something to know the other thing you could do is easily you could just man him up on that side um you know that's not a not a big ask um the other thing that you can do is you can man up that linebacker on that tight end and this will basically completely take it away you're not going to be able to beat that unless you have route tech on the tight end or something. You're really not in a good position uh, in terms of being able to beat that. So let me just go back to uh, China double in. We'll just streak circle and take a look. You see there. And they're so long developing that when you throw it, their defenders oftentimes will catch up to that and take that away. I honestly would live with that, though. I would really live with that. Um, because then what we can do is at the right time, we could go to our Tampa 2 setup. And this is a setup that really, um, I just think this setup is just incredible. Something like this right here is real simple, but it's really good because we're still leveraging the three rec over the middle. And then now, let's say they go to that same setup out of, out of uh, China double in. Now you're in a position where we've got curl flat coverage. We've got matching. We've got a lot of really good stuff. And see how that third will take that completely away. Obviously, he didn't catch it, but he's in the area of the field. So, you know, that's pretty much how I handle uh, this formation. Now, one of the things you will see from time to time is, let's say from like post, for example, you'll get this motion over. I don't really concern myself too much with this. I don't change anything. Um, we're still playing basically the same exact coverage with the middle read. If we want to, if we want to, what we can do when we get a look like this is we could take this middle read and we can cross man him on that on that motioned over receiver or something. But basically, what you're doing, you're still bringing this guy down. So if the tight end goes vertical, you're going to take him. Most of the time, he's not. Most of the time, this is what they're going to do is they're going to have this little spacing concept out of this and so your primary responsibility is if there's any crossing route from that side you just take that but that's it um so where if that tight end goes vertical you take him if the tight end goes on a cross you take him otherwise you're just basically covering over the middle of the field so really solid little defense for a slot offset in my opinion didn't get into the run defenses yet but that's all in the guide so if you want to get more uh defensive content and get better defensively i would encourage you to get the defensive ebook it's the best defense in the game and it's the most adaptable defense it's the defense in my opinion that is very easy to adapt to different things that the offense might be doing so i love this defense this year i think it's really the best way to play madden right now so if you want to get the defensive guide there's a link in the description of this video where you can go get it for just 15 bucks thanks for watching the video and like i said if you want to get the guide head on down to the description click that link it'll take you over to the website